So in Egypt Bazaar, you gotta negotiate, right? But not too much. This is Cairo. Welcome, Welcome to, to Cairo. Cairo. I'm challenging myself with a budget of $40 to see how far my money goes in one day in Cairo. This is the official currency of Egypt. It's called the Egyptian pound. As of right now, $1 is equal to about 25 Egyptian pounds. The currency has fallen to a record low against the dollar, which means if you come here right now with dollars, it will be cheaper than before. Cairo, Egypt is famous for its pyramids and history, but today I want to explore the city from a less touristy point of view. I start my day by walking near the Nile River. Despite the density of this city, I still get to enjoy a little bit of nature and be near the water. I'm not a big breakfast guy, so on the way to my walk, I spot this local coffee shop that sells only these things. Coffee, tea, and shisha. Yes, shisha, even though it's 9am. A lot of people are stopping here for their morning cup of tea, morning coffee, and it's not even 9am yet. And some people are even doing shisha. There are literally hundreds of flies here, which is a bit annoying, to be honest. A tea and a water I didn't ask for, one dollar. The tea was disappointing because it was a standard Lipton tea bag. So to be a little bit more satisfied, I stop at this old man's juice shop. He has all types, including pomegranate, but I'm gonna be a bit standard and do orange juice. The price? One dollar. I like it because it's nice and fresh. Next time, I'm probably going to try the pomegranate. Egypt is home to 104 million people. 21 million of them live here in its capital, Cairo. So traffic is crazy. I'm starting by walking because I don't want to sit in traffic. But this is not the most walkable city. And it's especially terrifying when it's time to cross the street and there are no lights or crosswalks. I already visited the pyramids last time I was here in 2015. But honestly, I'm fascinated by the history of this country. So so I'm gonna skip the pyramids and head to the Egyptian Museum. It's a very chaotic entrance to the museums from the lines and three security checks, plus getting tickets. The price, $8. The Egyptian Museum in Cairo is the oldest archeological museum in the Middle East. It has over 170,000 artifacts. Once you escape the crowds a little bit, you actually have room to breathe and it's really, really beautiful. Unfortunately, there are not a lot of descriptions here. So if I were to do this again, I would have gotten a guide to actually learn about what I'm seeing. It has the largest collection of pharaoh related antiques in the world. It's massive. You can totally get lost in here. Overall, I'm actually really glad I experienced that. Once you get over that initial crowd, then it really is worth it because you learn a lot. It was really cool to see all of that history in one place. After a few hours at the museum, I realize I'm hungry, so it's time for lunch. I saw a video about a famous food spot in Cairo and I need to try it out. I enter and it's already such a vibe in here. They only serve one dish here called koshari. It's Egypt's national dish and a widely popular street food. So it's basically a mix of pasta, rice, and brown lentils and sometimes chickpeas. And then it's topped with tomato sauce, garlic vinegar, and crispy fried onions. This was believed to date back to the 1800s at the time it was considered a poor person's food because these ingredients were easily sourced. I order one koshari and a Pepsi. The waiter helps me with mixing and seasoning my dish. He brings the tomato sauce and adds vinegar and some spices to it. And then pours it on the plate and mixes it all up. The taste is not bad, but I'm not necessarily loving it either. The price of lunch is $2. Yes, $2 for all of that. Next, I take a 20 minute Uber to Mohammed Ali's mosque. The price? Quick break to thank today's sponsor. Today's video was made possible by Fixed. So you know how when your car engine light turns on, it can totally freak you out? Well, Fixed helps you understand what the problem is actually about. It's kind of like your smartwatch, but for your car. This is it, and it totally syncs to your phone. And it actually gives you detailed engine information so you're not a moron when you go to the mechanic. And it has other amazing features that can help you save money and avoid crazy expensive repairs. Fix works with all vehicles that are gas powered that were made after 1996. And it even uses an algorithm that will track your mileage and automatically notify you when it's time for routine maintenance. Which is just really cool because now you don't have to guess and wonder if you actually need to take your car into a mechanic. It's a totally free app on the iOS and Android store. And this is great because they're offering viewers of this channel a great price. It's originally priced at $60, but you can get it for just $20 plus free shipping if you use the link below. So check them out. You know I'm a big fan of technology. And this is just really cool that you can now monitor the health of your car. And now back to the video. One dollar. The mosque is located inside the citadel of Salah al-Din al-Ayubi in Cairo. The price to enter 
$8. Muhammad Ali was an Ottoman ruler and the mosque was built to bury him there and pray for him. I walk around the police national museum which talks about the weapons that the Egyptians used and are even using today as well as show the planes and military resources it has. There is an old prison that they used to use here. It's a bit creepy. The mosque is very vast and beautiful especially the interior of it. Something interesting I noticed was that there is no carpeting inside. If you have any idea why let me know below. Next I take another 20 minute Uber. Another 20 minute Uber, $1. So I come to this coffee shop. It wasn't very vibey. I think it's more of a nighttime place since they usually have a band performing here. This coffee shop was opened to be a gathering place for artists in Cairo. I get an Egyptian cup of tea. Egyptian tea at this coffee shop, $1. It's a quite rich and dark tea. I chill a little bit after a lot of walking around. It's almost 5 p.m. and all day long I've been excited to go to a bazaar. So I take another Uber Uber ride for $2 to get to Bazaar Khan El Khalili and this is a must visit bazaar in Cairo. It's a beautiful and very happening bazaar. I walk around for a bit. All the sellers and business owners are trying to seduce the people and convince them to buy something, anything. As I'm here, there's a tour bus with Spanish tourists arriving. So all the sellers start speaking in Spanish. Hola, que quieres? Okay, they're professionals. A guy even told me, I have what you're looking for, for sure. Even though I didn't even ask or look for anything. So in Egypt, Egypt Bazaar, you gotta negotiate, right? But not too much. Pyramid souvenir for your friends, $3. But I negotiated it down to two because that's what you do at the bazaar in Egypt. You gotta negotiate. Visiting a bazaar when you come to Egypt is definitely a must. It's truly chaotic. Even if you don't buy anything, you gotta come visit a bazaar. Okay, now it's time for dinner and I'm starving. Traffic can be really crazy in Cairo, so definitely avoid getting in a car during rush hour, I probably regret this decision. And what's crazy is all the honking you hear. A 30 minute Uber ride with a lot of traffic, $2. The design here is meant to replicate a Cairo home in the 1930s. And I absolutely love the design and vibe. I order a dish called malukhia. It's a dish that consists of a green leaves stew, rice, and chicken. The price? $6. I also order this Egyptian salad, which kind of reminds me of a salsa. It was okay. The price? $2. Overall, this was a really unique Egyptian restaurant, and I'm really happy I came. Okay, so I have a few dollars left. I need to put two dollars aside for my Uber back to my hotel, which means I have exactly one dollar left to spend. I'm honestly so full, but I do see this traditional dessert place around the corner and get Arabic Egyptian sweets because it's a perfect way to end the day. This is called Basbusa. It's a sweet syrup soaked cake that originated in Egypt. It's sweetened with rose water or orange flower water. Basbusa is delicious. The price, one dollar. So I did it. I spent $40 in one day in Cairo. Overall, this place has a lot lot to see, but I would recommend that you really do your research because this isn't the kind of city that you just want to wander around and get lost in. It can feel a bit chaotic, so definitely do your research. Let me know in the comments how you would spend $40 in Cairo and let me know where should I go next and what's my budget. While you're at it, check out more of my cash challenges around the world.